Society in America, a seminal work by Harriet Martineau, published in 1837, is a comprehensive and insightful analysis of the social, political, and economic structures of the United States during the early 19th century. Martineau, a British sociologist and writer traveled across America from 1834 to 1836, meticulously observing and documenting the nation's institutions and the everyday lives of its people. Her observations are distilled into a rich text, which provides both a critique and praise of American society. Martineau's book begins by commenting on the unique position of the United States in the world as a nation founded upon principles of freedom and equality. It had attracted global attention due to its democratic political system, which stood in stark contrast to the aristocratic systems prevalent in Europe. She is initially impressed by the American commitment to liberty and the high level of political engagement amongst its citizens. However, Martineau soon begins to delve into the complexities and contradictions of American society. One of the most significant themes Martineau examines is the institution of slavery, which she regards as a profound moral failure and a contradiction to the principles of the American Republic. She critiques the South for perpetuating slavery and expresses sympathy for the plight of the enslaved. Martineau's discussion extends to the economic implications of slavery, noting how it not only dehumanizes individuals, but also holds back the economic development of the nation. She holds a firm abolitionist stance, calling for the United States to uphold its professed values by abolishing slavery. Another area of focus is the condition and rights of women in America. Martineau contends that despite the country's vaunted freedoms, women are subjected to legal and societal limitations which keep them in a position of inferiority. She points out that women lack property rights, access to education, and fair representation, revealing a stark contrast between the nation's democratic ideals and the reality of women's experience. Martineau asserts that the advancement of society depends on the emancipation and empowerment of women, as true democracy cannot flourish without the full participation of all its members, regardless of gender. Martineau also carefully evaluates the American political system. She commends the principle of universal suffrage, the separation of powers, and the system of checks and balances, recognizing them as progressive features that promote political involvement and prevent tyranny. However, she also identifies shortcomings, such as the influence of party politics, which she perceives as often corrupt and self-serving. This system, Martineau argues, undermines the effectiveness of the political process and sometimes leads to the election of unqualified officials who are more interested in power than in public service. The American economy does not escape Martineau's scrutiny. She discusses the rapid growth of the American economy, driven by abundant natural resources, a spirit of entrepreneurship, and a strong work ethic amongst the populace. However, she also identifies the period's economic inequities, including the vast disparities between the rich and the poor and the periodic financial crises that disrupt lives and businesses. Martineau suggests that these economic challenges are symptomatic of the relatively unregulated capitalist system and posits that greater safeguards should be implemented to protect workers and promote social welfare. Religion, too, is a topic that Martineau examines with great interest. She observes the fervent religious life in America and comments on the diversity of religious beliefs and the general principle of religious freedom guaranteed by the Constitution. Martineau appreciates the separation of church and state, though she notes that religion often intersects with politics and public education, sometimes leading to debates and tension. Throughout her travelogue, Martineau also touches on American intellectual life, noting both its strengths and its areas of insufficiency. While she admires the practical and entrepreneurial spirit of the American people, she suggests that this practicality also leads to an undervaluing of pure science, philosophy, and the arts. Martineau encourages a more balanced approach to education and culture, which she believes would enrich the nation's intellectual landscape and contribute to more profound social and moral progress. Martineau's work also frequently explores the interaction between different social classes in America. She recognizes a general sense of equality and lack of rigid class structures, 
which she finds appealing compared to the rigid hierarchies of her home country. However, she also notes that divisions still exist, particularly the barriers faced by ethnic minorities and the indigenous peoples, who are marginalized and whose rights are frequently overlooked. One of the defining features of Martino's analysis is her use of comparison to the old world. She uses her observations of America to reflect on European societies, highlighting where America leads in social advancements and where it falls short. Martineau's transatlantic perspective adds depth to her critique, enabling her to bridge the gap between the experiences of the two continents and offer insights that might not be as apparent from a purely American or European viewpoint. Throughout society in America, Martineau advocates for moral and social reform based on the principles of equality, justice, and education. Her astute observations provide a multifaceted portrayal of American society, capturing its potential for greatness alongside the urgent challenges it faced at the time. Despite her criticisms, she remains hopeful about the capacity for improvement and social evolution, urging Americans to live up to the values espoused in their founding documents. Harriet Martineau's Society in America thus emerges not only as a descriptive account of her travels and observations, but also as a clarion call for social change. Her emphasis on inequalities, whether they pertain to slavery, gender discrimination, or economic disparities, reveals the complexities and contradictions of American society. By casting a critical eye over the youthful American Republic, Martineau provides readers with a thoughtful analysis that resonates with contemporary discussions about democracy, social justice, and human rights. <laughs>